In this video, we're going to take a look of a way to self-host your own URL shortener. Uh, basically, you want to have a URL shortener in case you have a blog or a social media presence to make your URL more memorable to your audience. You don't want to share a long link and you want to make the link as short as possible. And in this uh, video, we're going to take a look of Slash and how Slash can uh, help you customize your URL. Also, Slash can be used uh, as a link share option, also can be used as a bookmark uh, solution for your links. It has also on uh, Chrome and uh, Firefox extensions that can help you create uh, links easily that you can share with your audience or you can store it for the future to access them. So here this is Slash and uh, this is the interface of this. In here you see that uh, you have some uh, uh, options to show the short link you have the collections in here that you can uh, create and add the, the links that you added to slash to collections and in here you have the options to tag your uh, links also if you click on a link you'll see here you can have the options to have a description you can make it public you have some statistics about the you count of the links and the devices that were used to access these links. Uh, if you want to add the link easily, you can uh, go and uh, create one like this and you'll have an interface in here where you will paste the name of your link, the long link, the title, the description, you can tag it, you can make it private, you can uh, just uh, allow the workspace or you can make it public so everyone can access it. You have also an options to have the social media metadata on it. You can add an image URL, you can add a title or a description. And every time when you share this link on a social media platform, these details will be used for your links. Also, they have an extension that can be installed on Chrome and Firefox. This is the extension. You just link it. And in here, you have the options to add, for instance, the links very easily to your uh, collections and in here you can see for instance this is the slash links and in here you have the, the the title for for this let me make it like this and in here you have the link you can save it and afterwards the link it will be displayed in here and uh, you can open it very easily if it just went to to this you can access it also quite easily if you do s slash and then it will be redirected to the to the link so you have multiple ways that you can uh, add and uh, access these links with this open source uh, software in this video we're just going to see how we can uh, add it in our docker installation and how we can uh, add it to a subdomain and secure it with an ssl certificate the process is easy and uh, can be done uh, easily by anyone so let's go and uh, see how we can uh, install and create this i've also created an article in here with all of these details that you may want to check with the extensions and uh, the details first of all you will need to have a uh, server where you will need to have docker installed so you can uh, install slash in in there and uh, for managing these docker containers i will use docj that is a portal alternative that can help you manage these uh, Docker Compose um, instances easily. I've created a video in the past with uh, all the details on how you can set this up. So I will let the link in, in the description and the video in here that you can follow and uh, configure your uh, VPS server with, uh, with Doge and install Docker in case you don't uh, have it. So in here I have added the Docker Compose that you need to do and uh, add it to your Docge installation. You don't uh, need Docge or an, and you can install this uh, on any Docker management solution you have. I am just using Docge because I like it because it's easy to, to use. Let's go and uh, add this. So this is the Docker Compose file and uh, in here I will go to my uh, installations. I already have something in here created that I've just demonstrated to you, but I will create a new installation in here. I'll just hit the compose. And in here you have the options to add your compose file. And uh, in here you see that uh, you have the slash details, the service name, and in here you have the container name. In here you have the latest image that it will be pulled. You have the options to choose your ports for my uh, for my details i will use the 5009 port basically this is the port that will go to the exterior and this is the port that the container will use to communicate 
and in here you have the volume part where you will uh, have the database stored for the URLs that you are going to create. So in here I will just uh, put this in a slash this and uh, yeah this is the container path that uh, will have the details and I will have the restart options so this will restart uh, unless what it was stopped by by me I will also add this to the docjet default external network so uh, docjet will not create another network in here and in here you just need to add it a name I will put uh, slash two because it's the second installations of this and after you configure all of this, the thing that you need to do is to go and save this. So right now you have the slash two container created in here. Right now I will just uh, go and start this container. And you see that the container right now it has uh, started. And the next thing that we need to, to do is to go and uh, add our domain or subdomain that we want to use for our link shortener and for this I will going to use the Cloudflare tunnels I have already a tunnel created in here for uh, this uh, VPS server in the video that uh, you have the doggy installation it, you will have also details how you can set this up and here in the public host names I will need to add a public host name that will go to my domain and for this uh, in here you will need to create the host name that will uh, point to you the domain that you want to use for your link shortener in here you have the options to use a domain or a subdomain and in here I will just add the, a name like uh, my link just for you to demonstrate you can add also a full domain if you want I will choose the domain from here it with those in here you have the type it is HTTP and in here you need to put the server IP where you have this and the port that you have used is 5009 and then you just hit the save host name and at the end this uh, it will uh, store the details into the public host names that you have and what we can do is go and access this so if we open a new tab and we go in here you will see that uh, you have the link shortener ready it has a SSL certificate and in here we have the options to log in I will sign up right now because I don't have an account on this and in here just put your email your nickname and password let me put my email in here under details yeah after you input your details you just sign up and right now you see in here that you were signed up to the interface and you have some settings in here with the profile for instance and in here you have the options to create tokens for instance that uh, you will uh, link to the chrome extension or firefox one and in here you have the options to choose the color theme if you want and you have the option to choose the language right now in english and uh, chinese and uh, in here you have also other settings so for instance in here you have the options to enable user sign up or you can disable this so uh, you don't uh, want anyone else to sign up to your uh, your installation I will disable this right now and I will click hit save so right now no one can create an account and in here you have the workspace settings basically this is the for SEO purposes so if you add your instance URL in here basically this is the URL it will be accessible to, to Google uh, also this looks to have like some plans that uh, you can uh, use for more advanced settings so the free plan it's uh, allowing you to create some, as many links as you uh, as you want with uh, all the browser extensions and the API and add up to five members the other plans uh, it will offer you more uh, customization I, I didn't need it to use the pro plan for now and uh, yeah in here we have the about and right now what you can uh, do is go and add your first link in here so for instance let's say you want to have this long URL shorten and uh, I will add a name in here like slash and in here you put your link you put a title in here slash link shortener and uh, the description you can tag this as you like like uh, you have the options to add a tag like self-hosted you can make the visibility private or to your workspace so only the members can access it or public I will let public in here you have the social media options that you can add I will hit save 
and right now the click was created you see in here and this is bringing automatically the favicon in here you have the other uh, status in here and if we want to access this link for instance you can copy it from here and right now you will have a short link like this with the domain and the slash s and slash slash and if you hit enter this will redirect you to the tool url that you have in there and right now if you go in here and you are going to to go to the details you see that you have the uh, sources and you have the devices for this uh, you have the visitors count you have the options to create a qr code to copy it or to edit this another options for this is to create collections so you create create collections that you can share with uh, your user and with your audience again in here you have some options for your collections you can put the collection name like uh, and yeah self hosted tools you can add the description again you have the options to make it uh, private or public so this is uh, visible to everyone on the internet and i will need to choose the shortcut right now it's only one and i will hit save and right now you will have this collection in here and the collections it will look like uh, like this you see in here that you have a collections that uh, you can share with anyone right now to utilize the extension you just need to go and uh, download it to download it i let the links in here with the details to, to this so for instance let me check i have the chrome installed and you'll find the extension in here you just add it to your chrome i already have this uh, added to my uh, chrome and after you add it you have the settings in here and in here you have uh, the options to add your instance url and the, the access token for this you can change the color and in here you have the links that you have and the uh, to link it to your installation you just need to go to your profile and uh, in here you just need to create an uh, uh, access token for this you put in a name like chrome you have the expiration never and just create it then you can go and copy it and add it to your uh, extension afterwards you will be you will be able to just add the urls uh, automatically and uh, bookmark them so for instance if i go to bidos.com and let's say I want to link this article I will just go and add the extension and in here you have the plus options and in here you can put your unique name like a slash install this will link the link to the other one it will fetch the title automatically and you hit save and in here you'll see that you have the links if you go to my slash you'll see that the link was added in here and uh, yeah you can uh, just go and uh, copy this add it like this and right now it will be redirected automatically you can even access it with s slash uh, install and this will redirect it directly to the link that you have in there one of the things that uh, slash is not doing right now is like uh, you don't have the options to limit the number of clicks for these links you don't have the options you have some advanced uh, statistics for this you cannot set an expiration it but as it's uh, a new tool and maybe in the future this will be added uh, this is slash and this is how it will help you convert your links to shorter format so to be more engaging to your visitors uh, so it is a good bookmark options that will allow you to store links and access them easily from here in case you find something interesting i hope you enjoyed the video in case you like what you have simply don't forget to like and subscribe